Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this morning's Mass. If you could please remember to make sure all cell phones are turned off during the service and that masks are mandatory. Our opening hymn can be found in your glory and praise, 713, 713 in the glory and praise. Please join with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. And a warm welcome to everyone this morning as we gather to pray together. And a special welcome to all those uh, praying from home. We also have the uh, Western Conference of Social Justice Conveners joining us today as part of their workshop. And so we welcome them praying with us. As we gather, we open our hearts and minds again to our Lord, asking for his wisdom and forgiveness and love. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, for trust in your love and power working in our lives. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We pray you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, 
only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, Kitsumanito. Grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. It was the will of the Lord to crush him with pain. When you make his life an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring and shall prolong his days. Through him the will of the Lord shall prosper. Out of his anguish he shall see light. He shall find satisfaction through his knowledge. The righteous one, my servant, shall make many righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is 196 in the glory and praise. 196. Let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt you trust in the Lord, it is good to sound your praises, giving thanks to God with your strings and voice, making music before the Lord. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The word of God ever true, all the works of God enduring, every mountain peak, every ocean. 
ocean floor. Loving labor, loving Lord. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Behold, the eyes of the Lord look with love to those who hunger, bringing health and hope to our days of want, bringing mercy in every your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Let your heart rejoice in the Lord. Let your word proclaim his deeds. Let your voice sing out to the world that our God has come to say. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We have a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. So Jesus called them and said to them, You know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognize as their rulers lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. But it is not so among you. Whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you. 
I came not to be served, but to serve. This is uh, the weekend for the Western Conference of Social Justice Conveners. And so uh, every fall we'll have a gathering. Uh, usually we gather in person, but this year it is in Zoom uh, a gathering. And uh, it's different uh, people from the different dioceses across Western Canada. So Patty Fitzmorris from Winnipeg is uh, part of it. Tasha Tupin from Regina. Myron Rogel from Saskatoon are all hired staff that are conveners for the concerns of social justice. But most of our group are volunteers. They're people from the different dioceses that just have a heart for the Catholic social teaching and trying to help encourage us to, uh, to be aware of that and to live it out. So for our Archdiocese of Kuwait and La Pa, Linda Mikolenko is our representative. Uh, but there's other volunteers throughout our diocese. So what are Catholic social teachings? C.S. Lewis has a really powerful image, I think, of uh, he talks about Christianity helping us like ships going out into the ocean. And so part of Christian teaching is how for a ship to keep itself in shape. So it's things like our own uh, mental health, spiritual health, our uh, acknowledgement of our sin, our forgive, being forgiven and choosing to forgive. All those things that help us keep our own ship in, in shape. But we also need guidance how to go as a group of ships together so that we're not banging into each other or losing each other. And so that area in a large part is Catholic social teaching. The other very important part of Christianity is, why are the ships on the ocean in the first place? What is the purpose and meaning of our life? And Christianity speaks to that especially. So the Catholic social teaching. There's basically ten principles. I'm just going to mention briefly four of those. One of those is the dignity of each person that every person is created in the image of God, and so respect needs to be shown for every person. Now notice that's not freedom of rights, that everyone has the right to do whatever they, they think, but it is that every person should be treated with respect. Every person needs to be valued. That's a key part of Christian social teaching. Another point is service of the common good. That as Catholics, we're called to think of what is the best for all our people. What are things that are necessary for all our group to move in a positive way? And so common Christian, uh, common, the service of the common good is another principle. A third one is preferential option for the poor that our Catholic teaching is that where we notice the most downtrodden, we need to try to reach out. That we're called to try to lift those of us most struggling. Fourth uh, principle, service uh, of creation, stewards of creation. That's really changed in our awareness lately, eh? that we are called to treat the earth with respect as well. And just that sense of appreciation of how we use the gifts God is giving us, stewards of creation. So I'll just share some of the areas that these group of social justice uh, conveners are really trying to promote and encourage. And I think it's some really positive things of our Catholic Church uh, in the, the last 50 years. Probably to my mind, the biggest one is development and peace. Development and Peace has been an organization started by the Catholic bishops 50 years ago over now to try to reach out to the global south, to other parts of the world that are experiencing great difficulties at this time, war, famine, whatever it may be. The first part of that is education. So they try to educate and make our, us Catholics more aware 
of the situation in other countries. So this fall especially, they're reminding us that many Canadian companies are involved in mining in the global south. And that sometimes our mining practices there are very different than our, uh, what we're trying to do here. And so an ombudsman has been created in, uh, by the government, but that ombudsman has no teeth. So they can't punish or put pressure on mining companies to change certain uh, uh, ways they're not respecting the rights of the local people. So we're looking, if you go to their website, there is a petition that we're trying to uh, bring to the government encouraging that the ombudsman has some ability to put pressure on to uh, correct some of those poor areas of mining. Another real strength of development and peace is that it doesn't just go to another country and say, here's some money. What it does is it goes and it meets with groups in another country that are trying to make a positive difference. And they say, how can we partner with you? Now, that's not always simple when you're trying to work with partners, but a lot of effort, especially these last years, have gone into identifying our best partners and really working with them. So a very practical example is we heard about Haiti. Haiti has had so much deep struggles these last years. And because we already have partners in Haiti, when they had that last uh, storm, that we were able to funnel support to them very quickly and effectively because we already have those partnerships. It's again one of the good news stories of the Catholic Church of Canada over these over 50 years, this part, partnerships of development and peace. Second area, Many Catholic parishes have sponsored refugees. There's been many parishes that have said, we want to sponsor people coming from, affected by war in, in different parts of the world. And so one parish of our group that's meeting this weekend, they just uh, received a refugee family. They spent 25 years in a refugee camp. Imagine that. 25 years your family is in a refugee camp and they just arrived in the last little while. Positive, reaching out, trying to support. Another area that uh, the Justice and Peace people would be working towards encouraging is palliative care. Again, especially the COVID's challenges walking with and accompanying those who are dying and their families has been very challenging. And yet it's such an important part of our Catholic faith that when somebody is making that final journey, that they're not alone, that we are trying to support and accompany them and their families. And so that's an important piece uh, uh, to be trying to support uh, I guess I would remind people, too, that if you have somebody in the hospital here, please call us. If there's somebody you know that is dying uh, or could just use a visit, please call us. Even if they're not really open to a visit, let us know to pray for them. As Catholics, we want to accompany those who are making that final journey. It's a very important part of our, our life and our ministry. So trying to, uh, to find the ways to, to strengthen that. So what does this mean for us? Every one of us is called to live out Catholic social teachings. Sometimes it may be that you're just noticing something in the community or in your workplace or the country, and it's really on your heart. I would say, don't just try to ignore that. Pray about it. Bring it to God and ask him, what are you trying to say to me about this? Go to the Catholic social teachings and say, what does it say about how someone might respond to this situation? And then again, ask God, what does he want us to do? 
Now, this isn't about becoming eco-terrorists, but it does mean God may ask us to do our little part, sometimes to go to a place that we're kind of afraid of or we're nervous about what it's all going to involve. But so often when we go there, it's a blessing for us and for the common good. So I just invite you, let us pray for all these efforts at our Catholic social teaching. May God help guide us to know the little ways he's inviting us to to reach out again. In the words of Jesus, I came not to be served, but to serve. Let us stand and profess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead, He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Knowing our utter need for God and his grace in our lives, we bring to him our prayer to the faithful. For the church, striving to grow in holiness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders who work for justice and peace in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer poverty or isolation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us called to witness to God's love and compassion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all our for all those struggling with COVID, all, all those who are uh, in need of uh, accompanying, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Kitsamana Tidy God, hear the prayers we lift up to you. Help us to live out the Catholic social teachings. And we ask grace and faith and love in the words that Je- as Jesus uh, calls us to. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the offertory. Our offertory hymn is 550 in the glory and praise, 550, Servant Song. Please join with me. What do you want from me, Lord? Where do you want me to serve? Where can I sing your praises? I am your song. Jesus, Jesus, you. I hear you 
call my name, Lord, and I am moved within me. Your spirit stirs my deepest self. Sing your songs in me. Jesus, Jesus, you Pray, my sisters, brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the, the praise and glory of God's name, for our good, good and the good of all God's holy church. Grant us, Nielsena, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered us again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Kitsumanato, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Seedarie ni Jesus Jesus nu hashaidru na gidayo hinait ni hat du hare bezitu bedelitu nu hafonedi la na nala na dafrio na bahunzo haridaha nu khinatun sit a marsi na yeniden sin Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope myself, your unworthy servant, and all who serve your people. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. In thankfulness for all the care that God shows to us, we ask for the grace to follow his teachings. Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share Christ's peace with one another. Take away the sin. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is 519 in the glory and praise, 519. In me. 
once cup. Take and drink, remember me. See this spread, sick and eat and live in me. See this cup, take and drink, remember me. Let us pray. Please stand. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a few announcements here. I have a couple of announcements to be made. Uh, Operation Christmas Child Boxes are available at the back of the church. For those who wish to pick them up, please pick them up and return by November 14th. And if you have any questions, please contact Susan Ford. Knights of Columbus Inter-Council Charities Drive. Raffle tickets are on sale now, so they can be purchased from any of the council members. And if anyone, men, aged 18 and above, would like to join the Knights of Columbus, please contact Ken Kelly or Grand Knight Juan. And also Knights of Columbus are once again selling $50 grub box gift cards. So these cards are great as uh, gifts for the birthdays or anniversaries, or you can also buy the groceries. So if anyone would like to purchase them, please contact Ken Kelly. So all these tickets, uh, what the Knights, are called, or Knights of Columbus are doing are a one way of uh, uh, charity or donation to the church and also to the Knights, uh, the programs that they are running. So there will be, a, uh, as we all are aware, this is 99th year of the uh, construction of the cathedral. So next year, 2022, will be 100th year. So planning to celebrate a jubilee. Uh, if anyone is interested to join for that meeting, you are most welcome to come for the meeting. The, the meeting will be on October 25th at 5.15 in the cathedral. So if anyone is interested, interested, you are most welcome to join for the meeting. So kids bulletin are available at the back of the church. I request the parents to pick them up and teach some catechism to your children because we are unable to take the classes. The rosary will be conducted in the cathedral every Wednesday at 7 p.m. You are most welcome to join for that. And also, uh, when you come to the church on Saturday, the pews which are marked with the flowers are the places where you sit on Saturday Mass. And the pews where there are no flowers are the pews for the Sunday seating. So the mask is uh, mandatory in the church. So please follow the uh, distance and, uh, and uh, use the sanitizer which is in the pews. So each pew has got the sanitization. And also I'm looking for the volunteers for live streaming the masses or the rosaries. If anyone is interested, please contact me or you can contact Jim's, our youth coordinator. 
we can train them so it will be a great help for the parish any birthdays or anniversaries for this week oh here comes a birthday and another one so we pray blessings on our birthday people May, May the, the blessing, blessing of the Lord, Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. May the Spirit of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Congratulations, Beatrice and Declan. Uh, blessings on your birthday. And again, just a reminder, poor Father Shantha is having to do all the videoing today. So if there's anyone who is willing to uh, be taught how to do the videoing, that would be a great help for us. Uh, we need him up front here praying, so uh, work at that. Blessings on you all this week. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go and proclaim the gospel by our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our closing hymn is 599 in the glory and praise. 599, please join with me. Bless be the Lord. Bless be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. He will release me from the nets of all my foes. He will protect me from their wicked hands. Beneath the shadow of his wings I will rejoice to find a dwelling place secure. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. I need not shrink before the terrors of the night, nor stand alone before the light of day. No harm shall come to me, no arrow strike me down, no evil settle in my soul. Bless be the Lord, bless be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night nor the apple that flies by day, nor the arrow